Hey guys, Andy here from Mediocre Hobbies coming at you with the next installment of the new Astra Militarum range, which is the beautiful new plastic Commissar kit that was very kindly sent to me by Games Workshop. So I've been excited to show you guys how to paint a Commissar for quite some time. This Commissar is a little funny. I have noticed two uh, slight mistakes in the sculpt, which I was a bit confused by. Um, I don't know whether they're mistakes or they're going in different directions or whatever, but one, he's missing, missing his Commissarial sash, which is part of his badge of office, so it's quite bizarre that he does not have one. And two, he has a las gun holster on his left hip while he carries a bolt pistol in his right hand. So I don't know why that's there. It's a bit bizarre, but anyway, no big deal, really. Before I get into painting this miniature up, I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my active patrons. Without you guys, we will be able to keep the lights on and the cameras rolling. If you guys are on the fence and thinking about joining my Patreon, some of the benefits to doing so are a private Discord server where you get to hang out with me on a daily basis, talking about your hobby and getting involved in cool events. And two, you get an extra video every single week. So that's 52 videos extra a year for all of my Patreon members. Without further ado, let's get into the video. And this is, of course, the new Commissar. And like I said at the intro, you can see he's holding a bolt pistol on his left hand, but he has a holstered LAS pistol on his right hip. I find that to be a very bizarre. Feels like almost an oversight when they constructed it, but maybe it's just the design. So it was sprayed black, and then I sprayed it with a gray sear, both with rattle cans. And then I jumped straight into Black Templar and applied that all over the parts of the miniature that are supposed to be black. So the Commissar, there's quite a few bits and pieces. So his big great coat. His brick leather great coat gets all black. Most of the cap, his boots, and a few other bits and pieces. This is one of the more armored commissars that I've seen. He's wearing a lot of armor outside of his flak jacket. So I actually had the miniatures box beside me and I had it open on the website as well. Make sure I didn't miss any of the parts. And I basically worked around it with the black. After that, we jumped over to Gore Grunt of Fur. And we're going to use this color for his belt, his leather belt, uh, his holsters, stuff like that. Like I said, the miniature is also missing its traditional sash, which I find a bizarre choice. Was that a, a deliberate thing? I thought I knew everything about commissars, but uh, our junior commissar is not supposed to have a sash. I'm fairly sure they're all meant to have a sash. Yeah, and when they painted up this guy uh, for the box art, the, I feel like they gave the belt like a little bit of a red tone just to, uh, I don't know, just to like mitigate the fact that they forgot the sash. Flesh Terror's red was then used for the red parts, so he's got um, a lot of red detail on his hat. This is quite an awkward bit of detail to get to, and I wouldn't blame anyone if they just covered the whole hat with Black Templar and just did the gold Aquila on the front. It would look totally fine. Most Commissars have pure black hats, and this guy has some red trim um, going kind of between the peak and up to the tip of the, the cap, and it kind of goes the whole way around, so he has almost like a red sash around his hat. And then the inside of his armored greaves are also red and the power cabling of his chainsword is red. So a few little bits and pieces, just make sure you get them all. After that, we're gonna throw a very quick coat of gloom and flesh onto his face and hands. Nothing special, do it for pretty much every uh, miniature I'm painting faces and hands with. Fun fact, commissars are actually my favorite thing in all of Warhammer. I think they are absolutely so cool. I don't think there's a Commissar sculpt I don't own. After that, I went to Lead Belcher to paint up all the armor panels and all of the other parts of his weapons. Obviously, we did the chain sword casing black and the bolt pistol casing black, but all the rest of it needs to go Lead Belcher. Some of the detail on his armor will go gold, but it's okay to just cover it all with silver first and then go in with gold and uh, neaten it up and get all those trims and design parts done in gold. When you take your time and not hit any of the black parts of the miniature here. Like I said, I know he's missing a few parts in my head, but I still find the kind of simplistic nature of him really, really enjoyable to paint. And I think he's going to fit in with the Cadian army really, really well. Retributor Armor Gold is the gold of choice to do all of those designs and all of that trim. So he obviously has got a huge skull Aquila in the center of his chest. He's got the one in the peak of his cap. And then basically around every single armor panel, except for the ones on his the top of his shoulders, have trim going the whole way around the outside and do those in gold. So just gonna take your time, as you can see, point of the brush and carefully go around those bits. We are gonna wash and layer up with some silver and stuff later on. So if the lines are a little bit wonky, you can of course 
touch it up and fix it but the need you are now means the uh, more control you'll have with the highlights later on okay we're ready to now shade the miniature so for this we're going to throw a null and oil all over the model every single bit of it is going to get a nice uh, coat of null oil the kind of chalky finish of the black contrast paint is now going to be kind of made a little bit more shiny It's also going to protect the contrast. Contrast isn't a very strong paint. It can just rub off. Obviously base the miniature as well while the shade was drying. And now it's time to actually work up the black. So for that, we're going to use Corvus Black, my favorite black to touch up black with. I said black a lot in that sentence. Obviously it's got a touch of gray too. It's actually noticeable when you're layering it up. And you can see the soft folds in his jacket. Obviously, this guy is standing pretty much bolt upright, so he doesn't have a lot of movement in his material. Therefore, there's not going to be a lot of like deep shadows and creases for uh, you to leave shade. But do what you can. As you can see, I'm just aiming for all those higher points and just layering it in with the Corvus Black. Then I'm carefully working around all those different arm panels and getting all of that black brightened up as well. And when it's done, you can see a noticeable difference in the black, but it still looks like a black, shiny gray coat. Katachan Flesh was my color of choice for layering up that leather uh, belt and all his uh, holsters and pouches. Taking my time with this, he does not have any other brown parts on the miniature. I was tempted to do with brown boots. At the end of the day, he's supposed to be in black, shiny boots as well. I didn't relayer the boots because I quite liked when I did the basing and I was dry brushing up the base. I hit the boots a bit, which made them just look a bit dirty and grubby. So I decided not to layer them, fix that. I think it makes it look really good. From here, we're going to go into corn red and we are going to layer up all those red pits. So like I said, all of the bits around his cap and then the inside of his wrists. Like I said before, the red bit here is quite tricky to get it around the hat. You need a steady hand, fine pointed brush, and you need some patience. I don't think it would take anything away from the miniature if, like I said, you did the entire hat in black. And then you can see that Aquila in the front just did that bit gold. I think it would look just as good. I'm just trying to follow the box art here. After that, we're going to go into Cadian Flesh Tone and just layer up that skin really quick. It's a really simple job. And I did the thing once again where I forgot to record, but what I really like doing these days on miniatures where I don't need to focus on their face massively, I'm not painting Gulliman or whatever, is I layer the faces with Cadian Flesh Tone and then I water down a little Reichland Flesh Shade and I throw it back over the face again just to soften all of those transitions between the colors. Add a little bit more contrast back into the face. I've been doing that for a while now and I think I'm going to continue to do that for the foreseeable future. Now onto lead belcher and we're going to layer up all the metallic. That's the silver bits and the gold bits. As you can see when it gets to the gold bits it's just a few touch highlights, nothing crazy. I'm not trying to get full coverage or anything. Just a few dots where light is going to reflect off the gold. After that, I added some weathering. I added a Kadia transfer to his chain sword. This is not my original idea. I did see this on Instagram. No idea who it was. And I do apologize for not being able to shout out who did it originally. But like I said, not my idea originally, but I think it's amazing. Uh, here is a few shots of him and all his glory next to a squad. And a finished commissar. Okay, guys, and there we have it. A very quick and effective way of painting a commissar for your Astro Militarum armies. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a like, drop any comments you have in the below, and I will get back to each and every one of you guys. And if for some crazy reason you're not already subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. It will make my day and cost you absolutely nothing. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end. I'll see you in the next video.